Hello everyone and welcome to this event, Leprosy, a thing of the past or a 21st century injustice, which is hosted today by the Leprosy Mission Northern Ireland. Today's event is part of the One World Festival, which is the festival for a more just, peaceful and sustainable world. This year's theme looks at the health of our world and the impact of climate change on the poorest communities of the world. This is one of a range of events which are running until Friday the 20th of October. The packed programme includes film screenings, talks, poetry, art and storytelling on human rights, international development, diversity and the environment. For more information, please visit oneworldfestivalni.com. And if you're posting on social media, make sure to include the hashtag healthofourworld and tag oneworldfestni. Leprosy, an ancient disease of the past, or is it actually a 21st century injustice that must be ended? Most people think leprosy is a thing of the past, a disease of biblical proportions that is no longer relevant to life today. The world's most ancient disease, but it's not something that we typically see in our daily lives in this part of the world. But for some of the poorest people in our world, leprosy is a horrendous and devastating reality that is stealing their health, their well-being, employment and livelihood opportunities, their very hopes and dreams for the future. In our session today, we will shatter the myth that leprosy is a disease of the past and consider how leprosy impacts health and well-being, as well as the unbearable social exclusion and discrimination which people affected face. And on top of this, we'll consider the triple jeopardy as the impacts of leprosy, poverty and climate change disproportionately impact people affected by leprosy. So what is leprosy and how common is it in our world today? Every two minutes, someone hears the devastating words, you have leprosy. Three simple words that carry generations of fear, stigma and shame. Three words that change everything. So by the time you finish listening to this video today, 10 people will have heard those three devastating words. 50 children will today find out that they have leprosy. And over 3 million people worldwide currently live with leprosy-related disability. Leprosy, also known as Hansen's disease, is a neglected tropical disease which still occurs in more than 120 countries, with the majority of cases in Southeast Asia. Leprosy is a chronic, severely stigmatizing infectious disease caused by a type of bacteria, Microbacterium leprae. Leprosy bacteria are transmitted via droplets from the nose and mouth during frequent close contact with someone affected and untreated. Leprosy is curable with multidrug therapy, but untreated it leads to preventable, life-altering disability. Leprosy works slowly, almost undetectable at the start. Early symptoms start with light, numb patches on the skin. It progresses by shortening tendons and leaving clawed-like hands and drop foot. It then destroys nerve endings in the hands, feet and face, leaving those affected with no ability to feel pain anymore, the very feeling that protects us by alerting us to danger. Despite being curable, if left untreated or diagnosed late, wounds and cuts progress to ulcers and infection and finally to permanent, irreversible and unnecessary disability. In 1 in 11 cases, this can often lead to amputation. However, leprosy doesn't stop there. The shame and social stigma attached to this ancient disease means people today are still treated as outcasts. Fear that stems from a belief that the disease is a curse for prior wrongdoing often results in individuals being pushed out of their communities and abandoned by their family. Globally, there are over a hundred laws which perpetuate discrimination, preventing leprosy-affected people from having certain jobs, marrying certain people, or even their right to health care. 
facing a life of rejection by those you love, as well as unfair discrimination and perhaps loss of your job or education often leads to severe mental ill health. A recent study showed that 97% of people affected by leprosy have severe or moderate depression and one in two people affected by leprosy have suicidal thoughts. Leprosy is not simply a disease, it is an injustice. It leaves desolation and destruction in the lives of those affected. For the health of our world and for the sake of those most impacted, we must change that outlook. Our mission within the Leprosy Mission is to find and stand with those affected by leprosy often the marginalised and overlooked by society, providing crucial treatment, care and support for each person, bringing renewed health and empowering people affected to build resilient lives of hope and dignity. Everything we do seeks to stop leprosy spreading and prevent disability and defeat discrimination. So who is the Leprosy Mission and how do we work? The Leprosy Mission Northern Ireland is a Christian charity compelled to see an end to leprosy transmission to defeat the injustices of leprosy in our lifetime and see lives transformed. We are part of the Leprosy Mission's global family of 31 countries delivering life-changing interventions in some of Asia and Africa's hardest to reach places among some of the poorest and most marginalized and stigmatized communities. Our mission is to see an end to leprosy transmission by 2035, an end to leprosy disability and an end to leprosy discrimination. Our work enables timely diagnosis, helps prevent disability and provides specialist health care, prioritising early case detection and contact tracing, as well as supporting inner wellbeing, education, training, community awareness and livelihood development. We also work to strengthen government healthcare systems through training, as well as in research to see an end to leprosy. Today, the 17th of October, is International Day for the Eradication of Poverty. Leprosy is often a disease linked to poverty, affecting the poorest of the poor in our world. The Leprosy Mission works in some of the most marginalised leprosy hotspot communities of extreme poverty across Asia and Africa. Many of the people we work with earn less than one pound a day, less than seven pound per week to provide for them and their family. Many lack access to adequate nutrition, clean water and health care, leaving their immune systems vulnerable to infection. Many live in overcrowded and unsafe conditions. Together these factors leave them susceptible to leprosy. Leprosy affected people typically have unequal access to justice, lack of political power and dangerous work conditions. They are also too often buffeted by natural disasters and the devastating effects of climate change. Seasonal changes and natural disasters are causing massive reductions in harvests and primary industry incomes for leprosy affected people. Recent research has highlighted that the individuals most severely and disproportionately affected by climate change experience multiple forms of marginalisation. Three million people live with leprosy-related disability and 15% of the global population live with general disability. Persons with disability are most impacted by and at risk from the accelerating impacts of climate change. This is because persons with disabilities are more likely to live in disaster prone areas. They experience disproportionately higher rates of morbidity and mortality and are two to four times more likely to die in natural disasters than persons without disabilities. Persons with disabilities experience poverty at more than twice the rate of persons without disabilities, a risk that has been strongly associated with greater climate change vulnerability. The climate emergency also threatens to disrupt social protection systems and essential health care with grave consequences. In fact, the impacts of climate change are likely to increase the need for such services. Climate change may also affect the human rights of persons with disabilities to personal mobility, independent living and inclusion in the community.
Some leprosy affected have reported to have been refused access to evacuation due to stigma and discrimination. Climate change adaption options are also more often limited due to disabilities. The triple challenges of high rates of leprosy, climate change and multidimensional poverty are devastating the communities we serve. Bangladesh is one example. Almost all the leprosy affected people we serve live in abject poverty, often ostracised and with disabilities which can make it harder to respond to climate change impacts. In Bangladesh, rising temperatures, rising sea levels, changing rainfall patterns and cyclones have combined to impact river flows, resulting in salt water intrusion from the Bay of Bengal, where the main rivers meet the sea. Advancing salty waters seep deep below ground, severely degrading soil quality for farming, washing and fishing. Entire communities can be cut off from access to clean drinking water. In fact, our survey conducted in Bangladesh shows that climate change is increasing the physical and social vulnerability of people affected by leprosy. 83 in 100 people said their debt burden increased due to climate change costs. Almost one in two said the food crisis they faced increased. Climate-related disasters severely impact health and well-being. 56% said they faced scarcity of leprosy and other medications, and treatment costs increased. Over one in three faced difficulties traveling to healthcare points. Many had to change their means of income, and over one in seven sent family members to urban regions. Crucially, climate change is increasing the risk of leprosy transmission as people migrate to safety, often to overcrowded slums. Climate change is also interrupting treatment and delaying detection, increasing the risks of preventable leprosy disability. As we consider the health of our world, stakeholders need to consider the impact of climate change and concentrate efforts around inclusive policies for the most marginalised. Last year in Bangladesh, I witnessed the devastating triple impacts of poverty, leprosy and climate change. I met people who walk 15 kilometres to get water or go to work. I met others unable to work due to leprosy's devastating consequences. Others described how when they would sit down in the village, everyone else would walk away. I visited the vast tea plantations of Salette in northeast Bangladesh. There are around 600,000 tea workers, mostly women from minority groups. Here, leprosy is spreading at unprecedented rates, rates almost 30 times the global average. The tea workers typically earn just one pound per day, seven pounds per week to support their families. Aloka, a tea picker, told me how late diagnosis led to leprosy disability, clawed fingers in her left hand. Now she can only pick tea leaves with one hand and half the leaves means half the pay. She was fearful for her health and intensely anxious that she couldn't support her family. We found Aloka while leprosy screening and she received treatment. In our self-help group, Aloka found a safe place of belonging, peer support and skills training. She received a group loan to buy goats and this enabled her to supplement her lost income and support her family. She is now free of fear and anxiety and carries new hope for her family's future. In Sakura district, I witnessed higher salinity levels, devastating the livelihoods of farmers and fishers who depend on the river for survival. The low-lying river delta can only do so much to stave off the rising seas, leaving people no longer able to farm or fish to support their families. I met Basozit, who lives in a forgotten riverbank community. His family depend on the river to make ends meet. Basozit loved working hard, fishing shrimps each day, but untreated, leprosy caused loss of his toes and clawed fingers, leaving him unable to work, walk or use his hand. No longer able to provide for his family, he shared how he lost hope. Basozit's young son took over the shrimp farming to support the family. But rising sea levels, changing rainfall patterns, cyclones and catastrophic floods reshaped the region, causing saltwater spill into the waterways and soil. 
In 2021, they tragically lost a shrimp farm. 15,000 fish died due to the increased saltiness caused by climate change. And back in 2009, Basosa lost everything, even his home, to Cyclone Isla. Leprosy disability left him unable to walk to safety. He had to swim through the water while others used a simple bridge and a volunteer carried him to safety from the cyclone. We supported Basosa's family with goats to help them adapt and diversify their income. His son now farms crabs instead of shrimps and now the family have a more sustainable and diversified income and newfound hope for the future. Leprosy remains a 21st century injustice that devastates lives. It must be ended. The triple impacts of leprosy, poverty and climate change represent an injustice. An injustice that's disproportionately affecting the most vulnerable and marginalised in our world. Those who barely contribute to climate change are often hardest hit by its impacts. While climate change may concern us here in Northern Ireland, it can be life or death for the world's most vulnerable. The Leprosy Mission are working in partnership with other NGOs, governments and in Bangladesh tea companies to improve the health and well-being of our world, to reduce the impacts of leprosy, poverty and climate change on the most vulnerable. Last year we supported government health programmes spanning 305 million people and provided over 53,000 training days to health workers including other NGOs and government, enabling them to detect and treat leprosy. We are striving to see an end to the spread of leprosy by 2035. Last year we found and treated over 10,000 new cases of leprosy across 13 countries. We screened over half a million close contacts for leprosy, helping to interrupt the spread of leprosy across communities. We provided tens of thousands of patients with specialist treatment in our hospitals. We even provided 25,500 pairs of protective footwear, helping prevent further injury and disability, as well as thousands of prosthetic limbs, restoring mobility and opportunities. Last year, 26,000 people affected by leprosy and disability were empowered through self-help groups, including resilient livelihoods. 76% reported having increased or more regular income as a result. We provide livelihood support to 20,000 families facing crisis and over 11,000 people were supported to self-advocate for their rights and entitlements. Thousands more accessed water, sanitation and hygiene facilities as well as education and vocational training. 94% experienced improved social inclusion as awareness helps break down stigma in their communities. We continue to work in communities we serve to empower people affected by leprosy and disability to understand and mitigate the effects of climate change on their lives and livelihoods. It's time to work together. Whether it's supporting efforts to stop the spread and the devastation of leprosy, supporting resilient livelihoods, or whether it's reducing emissions using less disposable plastic, or advocating to local, national and international authorities for health care and climate justice for the marginalised, we all share the responsibility for caring for our world, for those living in abject poverty and for future generations. Together we can make a difference to the health of our world and to the most vulnerable, including those affected by leprosy and disability. To find out more about the work of the Leprosy Mission, you can follow our social media channels or check out our website. Thank you to everyone for joining us today. A reminder that this event is part of the virtual One World Festival, which is running until Friday the 20th of October. The festival encourages all of us to take small steps towards a just, peaceful and sustainable world. And you can find out more information about the festival on the website oneworldfestivalni.com. Thank you.